hope changes everything. Hello everyone! Once again, I'm participating in MANA's Summer Impact Campaign to help grant wishes to children with critical illnesses through the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I hope you stick around to hear a little bit about it. Every 20 minutes, a family hears the devastating news that their child is diagnosed with a critical illness. 80% of them will experience traumatic stress. Make-A-Wish, the world's leading children's wish-granting organization, creates life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses in every community in the U.S. and in 50 countries worldwide. Many of the wishes granted offer experiences such as getting a puppy, seeing snow for the first time, being a police officer, or getting a backyard treehouse. So many things we take for granted would mean the world to them. This devastating diagnosis turns our lives upside down and can impair a child's recovery, leaving them feeling hopeless. Make-A-Wish shines a light of hope in these dark times. Many wish kids say that their wish was a turning point in their fight to get better and go on to lead healthy lives. A wish inspires hope. It renews joy and gives a child with a critical illness a piece of their childhood back. More wishes are waiting to be granted. And these wishes need you. A wish is granted every 17 minutes on average somewhere in the world. And your donation will help make a wish get closer to granting the wish of every eligible child. Last year, you all blew me away and you raised $3,720. This year, my goal was $3,000. But to be honest, I just really wanted to beat last year. On Monday, we kicked off the campaign with a stream, and these are the names of all the lovely people that donated and helped me beat my goal and get to $3,800. So, obviously very excited, but why stop there? Let's keep going! So join me, and let's see how many wishes we can grant. And of course, many ASM artists across the community are also raising money for Make-A-Wish, so check them out as well. They have videos and streams and all that. Let's all work together and make a real impact in a child's life. If you'd like to donate, go ahead and click the link in the description. And with that, thank you so very much for listening, and let's get on to that video. Hi there. Hi. Wow, it has been so long, hasn't it? Yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi. Yeah. I know. It doesn't look so good. That's Your eyes look very uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Well, little Sprout, I was hoping that we would see each other again on better circumstances. But, alright, let's get started then. I'm just gonna take a look at my Mom, I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? So that we can figure out what's going on. Yeah, okay. So our eyes are irritated. Yeah. Honey, if you could try not, try not to, to rub them, okay? I know it. They itch and they're uncomfortable, but let's try not. Can you do that for me? Yeah? Thank you so much. Okay. So, Mom, how long ago did they start telling you about the eye irritation? Okay. So, you noticed they were rubbing their eyes a lot when they were outside. Has this been recent? On and off? Okay. For how long? A few months. About the time they got out of school? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Has it ever gotten this bad? Or is this the first time it's looked like this? Yeah, okay. Uh huh. And what have you been doing in the meantime for when it's been a little bit? Okay. Just like washing the face? Yeah, alright. Absolutely. Okay. So just where do we have tried washing? And has that helped when you did that? That out. Yeah. So, what what do you think happened to make things different today? Why are we looking so swollen and red? Okay, we're not sure. Yeah, no, it's okay. That's what I'm here for. Huh? That's what I'm here for. Yeah, okay. So, I'm playing out 
outside. So they've been playing outside a lot. It's so fun in the summer, huh? You don't have any school. <gasps> What's your favorite thing to do when you don't have school? Go to the beach. Yes, I love the beach. Uh-huh. So, have we gone to the beach recently? Because we could have had dirt or sand, maybe. Um, got in their eyes. Does this hurt when I touch right here, sweetheart? It's a little sore. Okay, what if I touch right here? Okay, right there. Right there. Okay, what about underneath here? Does that hurt right there? All right here. Okay. All right, so we've been outside. There could be dirt or sand stuck in our eye. That's definitely possible. Yeah. Okay, and when we play in the water, do we open our eyes underneath the water? Yeah, okay. Mm. It could be, that could be something. Yeah, we could be onto something there. But you usually use goggles. Oh, really? Good, good job. Okay. Yeah, we do want to use goggles just in case. Okay, so we did try rinsing today. We've tried rinsing their eyes out with just basic, just regular water, okay, from the faucet. All right, have you, mom, have you noticed any discharge or anything like that? I'm just gonna push very gently right here, okay? Very gently. Okay, good. And on the other side, very gently, okay? Very gently. Good. And I'm going to, where's my pen? Wait, there it is going to pull your eyelid down and take a look real close. I'm going to get real close. Is that okay? All right. I'm just going to pull your eyelid down like this. Okay. Good. Look underneath there. Okay. And I'm going to pull your eyelid up. Okay. And I'll look underneath. I'm sorry, sweetie. I know it's kind of uncomfortable. I'm very sorry. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other eye. I'm going to pull your eyelid down. Okay, and up. Just gonna take a look here. Very good job, very good job. Okay, so mm, in terms of discharge, I'm not seeing anything that would indicate infection. So that's good, but that doesn't mean that, that we're out of the clear yet. We may have just caught it early. So mom, have they been sick lately? Any, like, fever, any sniffles or anything like that? Okay, so I'm just gonna check real quick that we don't have a fever if you don't mind. Hold very still for me, okay? You hold still for me. Ready? Okay. Two. Give me just a few seconds more. Okay. Alright, we're looking good. No fever. That's very good. Very good. All right. I'm just going to write down that temperature here. <sighs> All right. Um, I'm just going to look at your eyes a little bit more. So I'm going to pull your eyelid down again, just very gently. And I'm going to ask you to move or like look up or down. Okay. Ready? So I'm going to pull this eyelid down here. Very good. Now, can you look up at the ceiling for me? Good. Good. And I'm going to pull this eyelid up. Just like that. Now, can you look down at the floor? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, other eye. I'm being as quick as possible. I know it's uncomfy. Okay, I'm pulling this eyelid down. Okay, on this side. Now, can you look up at the ceiling? Good. Very good. Now, one last time. I'm going to pull your eyelid up. And can you look down at the floor? Good. Good job. Good job. Great job. All right, so I'm definitely seeing redness. Yeah, we have inflammation and redness on, on the corners of their eyes, especially the eyelids. Mm, we're very irritated, very irritated. Sweetie, I'm so, so, does it hurt? Is it itchy on like a scale of 1 to 10? How are we feeling with that? Okay, so when you blink, blink. When you blink your eyes, do you feel itchy? Yeah, yeah. So before I go ahead with some tests, I'm just gonna add some eye drops that are going to help with irritation and make it less itchy so that we don't have the feeling to want to rub our eyes. Yeah, okay. So that'll be for 
really quick, okay? I'll be really quick, you won't even know what's happening. All right, can you hold very still? Ready, and look up at the ceiling for me. Ready, ready, one, two, good, and go ahead and blink. Good job, good job, blink, blink. All right, and the other one, ready, ready, one, two, and there you go, blink, blink. Go ahead, blink. Good job, good job. There, and it should start to feel a little bit better. Okay. Alrighty. How did school go? I know it's school isn't it's out of session, but how was your year? Yeah? Oh good. And what was your favorite subject? Oh, I liked that one too. Yeah. I I did like gym, but to be fair, I wasn't very athletic. Probably not like you are, Sprout. <laughs> yeah, that's very lucky of you to be athletic. Lots of fun sports to play. Really? You're gonna join next year? Oh, you'll have to tell me all about it. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So, I'm just going to, once again, I'm going to put my fingers around your eyes and you tell me if you feel any pressure or if you feel um, any pain or anything like that. So, I'm just going to very gently, okay? Just right here. Touch right there. Right here. How do we feel? Okay. And right here. Okay. And right here. Good. And down here. Okay, and right here, and right here. Okay, what if I touch right there on the sides? Is there any pressure when I touch right there? Okay, now can you close your eyes for me? Go ahead and close your eyes. Now I'm going to press on top of your eyelids here. Are we feeling any pain or discomfort? Okay, so you're feeling some pressure. Alright, have you been feeling sniffly as well? Are your sinuses having some issues? Are we... If I touch right here, right there, are you also feeling some pressure? Yeah, okay. Right. Interesting. Okay. Mm, if you don't mind, I'm just going to look at something very closely there. Very closely. seeing, like I mentioned, the redness and the swelling. I'm not noticing any foreign bodies in their eyes. I don't see any anything trapped, but that doesn't mean there, there isn't anything. Um, I'm just going to do just to make super sure. I'm going to get in real close with this magnifying glass, okay? I'm gonna look very close. If you can keep your eyes open for me, that would be so fantastic. You can If you blink, you can blink. Just do your absolute best if you can. Okay, and I'm gonna look at your other eye. Alright. Okay, can you look over here for me, please? Okay, can you look over here? Sorry, over here for me. down at the floor again. Okay. And look up at the ceiling, up at the ceiling. Okay. Okay, yeah. Mm. Sometimes eyelashes can get stuck or they can grow the wrong way or they can grow down. I don't see any issue with eyelashes. Dirt or sand can be small, but with the magnifying glass, I can see a lot of those things. Hmm, interesting. But 
it could also be from the excessive rubbing that you were mentioning. So if there was dirt or sand that was in their eye, um, maybe they could have scratched their eye or something like that. Um, but it could also be from an infection of some kind that is just starting. Um, but I could swab for cultures real quick. It's a, just a really quick test. I'm just gonna get a quick little swab. And then I have a liquid here that we can do to test for infection. It'll just turn a different color and we can find out right away. Because we definitely want to make sure that we don't have any infections, okay? So, it's going to be very quick. Alright. I have some cotton swabs here. And I'm going to take them. I'm going to gently get some, um, just rub it on your eye very gently, you won't even feel it, or you will, but it, it won't hurt, um, and then I'm gonna test to make sure we don't have an infection, okay? So, I'm just going to keep it all very still for me, sweetheart. Ready? One, two, and swap, swap, and right there like that. Okay, good job. All right, I'm just going to Well, if there is an infection, um, it'll be pretty easy to get rid of depending on what it is Yeah, we have some antibiotics that we could send home mm -hmm. Um, well, of course, pink eye is number one, something like that happen, but you did mention going to the going to the beach sometimes if they get um, some ocean water in their eyes, depending. So, you know, there's all kinds of, you know, who knows what's in there. And especially if you've been to the lake, out dirt, anything. I mean, there's any kinds of, you know, any kinds of germs could get in there, but because we caught it so early and there isn't any sort of or discharge. Yeah, there isn't it. Yeah, we don't. if there was, it would be a little bit more of an issue. But because I'm not seeing that, and it should be fine. Yeah. Okay, just check this real quick. Just gonna wait for it to dry here. Okay. Alright, so it's looking like no infection, which is great. That is fantastic, because that's not what we wanted. Very good. Okay. Just going to, if you don't mind, I'm going to do some quick tests to rule out some other things. All right. Good. All right. Now, real quick. 
stomach put that over your eyes now let me know close let me know when it gets close okay good and now let me know when it gets far good put this over your eyes here look straight at me let me know when my hand leaves your field of vision look straight at me okay good one more time Good. I'm just gonna do that one more time. Let me know. Okay, and one more. Good. Okay. Fantastic. Just going to do some quick little tests here. Okay. Can you take a look at the orange one for me? Can you watch the orange one? you watch? Watch the orange one. Okay. Keep an eye on that orange one. Good. Fantastic job, Sprout. Okay, now go ahead and look at the green one. Look at the green one for me. Okay. Look at the green one. and you let me know which is better. Okay, ready? One or two. Is one blurrier than the other? Let's do that one more time. One or two. One or two. Okay, let's do that once more. Now, out of these two, which one is better? One or two. again. One or two. One or two. Once more. One or two. Or one or two. Good. Okay. So last one here then. It's good. Okay. Ready? our last one here. One or two. Or one or two. Once again, one or two. Or one or two. Okay. Just very good. Okay. Let's go to continue to do so I have this little stencil here and I'm going to have you follow the light for me I'm going to have you follow the light good job keep doing it you got this follow Closer. You're going to follow my hand. Okay, follow my finger. If you can follow my finger. Okay, and back. And forth. And back.
straight at me, please. Just look at my nose, all right? Just try to look straight at my nose. Ready? straight at my nose. Okay, next I'm going to make some noises with my gloves. Now, whenever you hear or see me do this, I want your eyes to go straight to that hand. So, for example, straight there, now straight there, now straight there. Understand? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. So far, the tests are looking good, Mom. Yeah. So, they're just a few things. So, yeah. So, at least the eyes don't seem to be damaged. So, we don't need to have any damage in the eyes. Everything, acuity is all good. Doesn't seem to be any issues with peripheral. Okay. a quick little test and then we're gonna move on to something and then I'm gonna do a few more tests um, and then we should be good I think I know what's going on um, yeah I think I know but I just want to be super sure yeah okay all right do you see this chart here oh, upside down. <laughs> see this chart here and I want you to tell me if um, the E is pointing left, right, up, or down. Okay? Ready? Good. 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 Okay. And... Okay. Okay, and now this is the hardest line down here. Was that again? Yeah, okay. Good, 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 good. That's looking very well. Alright, so mom, I want to do a test to make sure that the issue wasn't a scratch from something that they had in their eye. That maybe they rubbed it and it scratched their, their cornea or something like that. Um, and to do that, we can do that here right now. Um, it's called a fluorescent test the dye test. Um, so I have a dark orange dye that I'm going to put in their eyes. It's going to put a little cast over their eyes. I'm going to use a very special light and I'm going to use that to see if there's any abrasions or scratches that are too um, difficult to see with the naked eye. Okay. All right. Okay, sweetheart. Where is where is that? All right. Now I'm going to put a um, little drop of something in your eyes. Okay, it's gonna feel a little weird at first, but you're gonna blink for me, and then everything's gonna feel just fine, like nothing ever happened. Okay. 
So it's this, this little, see this right here? Ready? Now, can you look up for me and hold still? I know, sweetheart, you can do your best to not try and blink. I know, okay, ready? Good, okay, now blink, 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 blink. See, it's not too bad. It's all the anticipation, that's the hard part, right? Okay, one more time. One more time, you got it. Just try not to blink, try to keep your eyes open. One, two, three. Good job, good job. Now blink, 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 blink. Now blink, blink, blink. Good, 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 good. Okay, now I'm going to use a very special light. over your eyes so that it's not too bright but I'm still gonna be able to see okay so I'm just gonna look very closely very closely okay now do me a favor can you look to your left okay now look to your right Straight at me, please. Straight at me. Okay. Just look straight at me, please. Okay. Keep looking. I know, I know. We're almost done. Almost done. Operations or any issue with that. Very good, very good. Let's see. Okay. That's good. Okay. You should be able to just blink and it will your your own eyes will wash it out for you. Um okay. Okay, real quick. And just triple check that everything is okay with your eyes. Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? Okay, look straight at me. Look straight at me. I'm just testing your peripherals, okay? How many fingers? Good. 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 Okay, once more. Focus, okay? Ready? Focus on my nose. Keep focusing on my nose for me. Keep focusing. Okay, keep focusing. Good, now can you look at this hand? Focus on this hand, okay? I want you to focus on this hand. Okay, good, good, good.
Good. Good. Good. Good. an orange and I have a watermelon. Let me know when you see the orange, okay? Close, okay. I know things are you're getting a little tired, huh? I'm sorry. I know. Okay. Right. So I am just for um, good measure going to flush their eyes with a saline solution just to make sure that everything is clear. And all good. Okay. This might feel a little uncomfy, but it's the same as earlier, where it'll just be just for a second. But afterward, it'll probably feel a lot better, and it's gonna help you so that you feel better and your eyes are less itchy. Okay? Now, get ready. Try and keep your eyes open for me. Look up. I'm just gonna bring your chin up here. Look up. Okay? Ready? Just going to... There you go. Good job. There we go. Almost done. Almost done. There. Good job. Great job. You did it. Oh my gosh. You were so brave. I know that was kind of scary. Yeah. But great job. Oh my goodness. So brave. They've been so good. Yeah. You have no idea sometimes. And sometimes we have to have the nurse come in to hold them down. I know it's so sad. But it can be so. It's, it's scary. I know. Oh, goodness. Okay, go ahead and keep thinking. Just blink, 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 blink. So that we can just... There you go. Oh, something spilled out. I'm just gonna wipe, wipe the little excess around your eyes here. sure I know what we have going on here. Yeah. Let me take my gloves off. Um, so, mom, do you have allergies? What about dad? Does dad have allergies? Brother or sister? Hay fever sort of thing? Yeah? Okay. So, this pretty clearly to me looks like allergies. So, I'm guessing they've been playing outside a lot, um, and because of this, actually, you know what's gonna be feel, you know it's gonna feel so good? Let me get a damp towel, and it's gonna be nice and warm, and we're gonna soak your eyes to kind of bring down that swelling. Okay, so let me grab that real quick. it over your eyes. I'm going to hold it. I'm just going to gently, gently hold it over your eyes and make some hand movements here like this, okay? All right, is that okay? Ready? There we go. There we go. Right, right there. Okay, very 
very good. Now, mom, um, so I'm just gonna, is that okay? Does this feel good right there? It's not too much pressure or anything like that? Okay, good. Okay, so mom, as I was saying, um, this looks like seasonal allergies to me. Um, I'm thinking that, no, 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 nothing severe, uh, just general hay fever, as we were, um, as we were talking about. Uh, it can be triggered by pollen or dust, pet dander, or even uh, mold. Uh, but from what you're telling me, this does sound like allergies. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking what happened, why we see more irritation right now and more swelling is uh, after playing outside, I, I just assume that they've been rubbing their eyes a bit too much. Um, and they found themselves, or they, maybe they were playing a little too close to the tree that has the pollen that's given them the issues. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe it's just been building up, you know, um, pollen has been bad recently, but if it's, you know, getting inside on their clothes, on their pillowcase, uh, you know, just extended exposure to the pollen, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, there are definitely some preventative things we can do. Um, for right now, I'm going to say that to manage our symptoms where we're at, um, some antihistamine eye drops or oral antihistamines um, when they're needed, but the latter can cause drowsiness. So, of course, prevention is key. Um, some really great preventatives. So, are you doing okay, sweetheart? Okay, good. We're going to keep going with that. Okay, we keep going with that. Okay, um, so preventatives. Uh, keeping those windows closed when the pollen count is high. Um, using air purifiers at home, that's a big one. Um, having them wash their hands and face after playing outside. Uh, keeping their sheets um, washed, especially pillowcases, stuff like that. Um, is there any other questions you have for me? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can get a prescription for you. Okay, how are we feeling, sweetheart? Oh, with a little, it makes this one go down just a little bit. And mom, you can continue sort of uh, going back and forth between Maybe some like a warm, damp towel compress and maybe some ice to sort of, yeah, something like that. But definitely make sure they're clean so that we're not spreading any pollen or anything like that, making things worse. Just keeping things cleaned off and yeah, okay. So let me just put this prescription in. What was your pharmacy? The one on Blip Blop Road? Yeah, okay. So I'll make sure to send this over there. So for now, I think I'm going to have you use antihistamine eye drops unless we just don't like eye drops and then we can use, we can use the pills. But I generally find that they don't prefer to take the pills. Yeah, swallowing pills is not fun. Yeah, it's not fun. Um, plus it makes us drowsy. We don't like that. Okay. Send the prescription in. So the prescription I'm sending in, um, it's, it's, you can find it, um, at the, any drugstore. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, well, maybe not the eye drops, but if you need to, like Benadryl, stuff like that, can be very helpful. And there's also, like, a nasal spray you can use to sort of ch ch helps with allergies as well. Um, especially if you've noticed that they start to Sneezy and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and have that sent in. And what was your address again? Make sure that we're all, everything's okay. And what was our date of birth? Oh my gosh, they grow up so quick. They grow up so quick. So tall. <laughs> You're gonna be taller than me soon. One more second. Okay. Alright, sweetie. I hope that you feel a little bit better. Are your eyes feeling better here? 
wasn't she? Good, I'm so glad. You have been so brave today. You have been so brave. I know, I've been touch- so many tests and I know I've been touching your eyes and putting things in them, but you know, it was all to help you feel better. Yeah, so you've been so brave. I'm proud of you and your mom is proud of you too. Yeah, so this is something that we can deal with and um, it's not a big deal and it'll get easier and easier. Okay, yeah, and if you can do me a huge favor, can you do something for me? Yeah, when your eyes are itchy and you feel like maybe you've got some pollen in your eye, um, try not to rub it, okay? Try not to itch it and rub it too much and let your mom know and then she can help and your eyes feel better. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're so small. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. <laughs> doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, so if anything, if anything happens, if things get worse, or if anything goes wrong, just let me know. Can we bring them back in? Yeah, and then we can, and if, if they, if it escalates, we can go over other options. And of course, make sure that, just monitor, just make sure that they don't eat into their eyes. And if you see any discharge or signs of a fever or anything like that, um, we just want to make sure that summer break, okay? Yeah. It was so nice to see you. Yeah. It was nice to